Dreams and mind manipulations have been one major tool that Satan, the devil, uses against God's people in this present age. Hence the Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 12 and 13. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Therefore, as we pray this hour, every weapon being used against anyone here crumbles, and gives way for your immediate manifestation. In Jesus' name. For the scripture says in Romans 8 verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. The Amplified Bible, put it this way. For even the whole creation, or all nature, waits eagerly for the children of God to be revealed. Therefore after this prayer, everyone under my voice shall begin to manifest every glory that God has embedded in him or her. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as we pray, I command every chain holding anyone under my voice to loosen and be broken into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you this hour with hearts full of gratitude and appreciation for your love, kindness, protection, and provisions. Thank you Lord, for your good plans and good thoughts for us. As you said in your word of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. That you know the thoughts that you have towards us. That they are thought of peace and not evils, to give us future and expected ends. Therefore dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour, asking dearest Lord, that you scatter every being or entity opposed to the manifestation of our peace as you have conceived and guaranteed your word. For Lord, you say in Ezekiel 34, from verses 25 and 26. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in his season, there shall be showers of blessing. Lord, we ask for this restoration and the showering of blessings as you have promised us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restore and give us lasting peace, both in our sleep and when we are awake. In accordance with your word of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16, which says, now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. Therefore, dear Father Lord, in accordance with your word, judge every anti-peace demon, their agents, and collaborators that are out to deny us peace as you have given us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let every devil who says that we will not sleep soundly, and enjoy divine peace and peace of mind be judged with your destruction wherever they are. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For in Isaiah 49, from verses 24 to 26, your word says, Can the spoils of war be taken from the mighty man, or the captives of a tyrant be rescued? Indeed, this is what the Lord says, even the captives of the mighty man will be taken away, and the tyrant's spoils of war will be rescued, for I will contend with your opponent, and I will save your children. I will make those who oppress you consume their own flesh, and they will become drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine, and all mankind will know, that I, the Lord, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Therefore Father Lord, according to your faithfulness to your word, content with them that content with us, both in the physical and in the dream realms. Deliver us from their machinations and evil programmings. Save us and our loved ones from their evil plots, plans, and manipulation. Dear Lord, cause them to feed on their own flesh, and to get drunk on their own blood. 
Let all their evil plans and orchestrations come upon them in accordance with Proverbs 10 verse 24, where your word says. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Lord, let the fears of these wicked ones come upon them according to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let every devil and demon of nightmare and evil dreams be arrested, chained, and emasculated. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, let the incubus, the succubus, and the asmodeus, every devil and his demons, in whatever rank and ranking, operating anywhere near me, my family, my household, and on things or people that have to do with me, be roasted and incapacitated by fire, thunder, and brimstone. In the mighty wonder-working name of Jesus Christ, let every devil or his demons responsible for nightmares, evil dreams and visions, and evil whispering ill luck, be arrested and rendered powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, in accordance with the saying of your word in Numbers chapter 23, verse 23, that says. For there is no enchantment or omen against Jacob, nor is there any divination against Israel. At the proper time it shall be said to Jacob, and to Israel, What has God done? Therefore Lord, I hereby cancel and destroy every satanic induced dream and vision. In the name of Jesus Christ. I annul every dream emanating from the devil with the intent to manipulate, afflict, and cause any form of harm, be it physical or spiritual. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I reverse every dream-induced misfortune, ill luck, slavery, and manipulation against anyone under my voice, their families, and loved ones. In the mighty and wonder-working name of Jesus Christ. For in Job chapter 22, verse 28, the Bible, which is the Word of God, authorizes me to decree a thing, and it shall be established, and light shall shine on my way. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ and the powers conferred on me as the ambassador of Christ, I decree and declare futile, null and void, every satanic manipulations, via the instrument of dreams, aimed to bring failure, misfortune, ill luck, shame and reproaches into the life and family of anyone under my voice. I nullify completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And by the authority of the word of the Lord, in Matthew 16 verse 19, which says. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. I bind and ban every devil or his demons, assigned with the duty to cause or enforce misfortune, delays, slavery, servitude, and near-success syndrome, in the lives of everyone under my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cancel and counteract their plans in the name of Jesus Christ. I turn their counsel into foolishness in the mighty and working name of Jesus Christ. For it is written, in 1 John 3 verse 8, that it was for this purpose that the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroyed every work of the devil upon the health, wealth, career, and destiny of every listener under my voice, in the name of Jesus Christ. I invoke fire, thunder, and brimstone against every devil opposed to the progress and prosperity of my listeners. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I abort and abolish every evil work of the devil and his demons and their cohorts against everyone under my voice. In the mighty and wonder-working name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Father Lord, by the power of your word of Isaiah 54 verse 14 through 17, that says. In righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Indeed they shall surely assemble, 
but not because of me whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the blacksmith, who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Lord, declare established, in righteousness, everyone under my voice, I annul and nullify every satanic weapon being used against them in their careers, businesses, engagements, and endeavors. In the name of Jesus Christ. I shift all my listeners here to their next level of progress, prosperity, and total well-being. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Messiah. Thank you, dearest Heavenly Father, for hearing and answering, for in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth we prayed. Amen. Congratulations.